What is up everyone? Welcome back to the Burley Fishing Channel. Thank you for stopping by and if you haven't already, smash the like button, ring the notification bell so you can see when we post the next video. If you've already done that, thank you. You guys are awesome. And please do not forget that we, every single Thursday, we have our live podcast, uh, 8 p.m. Eastern. It's Jeff, it's me, it's special guests, it's the Snorlax crew, and everyone in between. Uh, lighten it up in the comments. would love to see you there, so please check that out as well. Now, what do we have for you today? Something that I think is incredibly special. Yes, it's an unboxing. Technically, it's like a unbagging. We're gonna be unbagging three different things today. I'm pumped. We've got, we'll start, I think we'll go in order, smallest to largest. We'll just get it, we'll just get it out of the way that way. First package is from Debo's Fishing Lures. I cannot wait to show you what's in this one. Number two, we have the Z Baitco bag. Much larger bag, can't wait to see what's in that one. And then finally, last but uh, certainly not least, is the month of, what is it, July? Is it August? It's August, Monster Bass bag. Uh, this thing is sweet, I cannot wait to take you through some of this as well. So, like I said, we're going smallest package to largest. I am beyond thrilled to show you what's in here because there were even a couple surprises in here for me. Uh, first of all, if you buy something from Debo's Fishing Lures, if you haven't checked out Debo's Fishing, his YouTube channel, Please go do that. You are you've been under a rock and you need to you need to crawl out. It's time. Uh, comes with a handwritten note. It's not the only one that I've seen either. Um, this is one of the coolest things. This is actually one of the reasons I like buying things from other people, not just to receive the note, but the special touch that you get from some great people who just love to fish and want to share. Whether it's knowledge, uh, amazing hand painted baits. Did you guys catch all those? hand painted baits, um, you know, whatever it is, they just like sharing that with you, kind of like what we're doing right here. I just think that is so cool and I love supporting awesome people who are out there just doing awesome things. So, uh, without further ado, I'm not gonna read you the whole handwritten note. Suffice to say it was hilarious. Let's get down to the lure. So I've got, I bought two. Maybe there were two other ones that ended up in this pack. I don't know how that happened, uh, but I'm certainly grateful that they were in there. The first one up is going to be, what does Debo call this one? The Big Walking Hound. Look at that. This is very similar to what a mega, uh, the Mega Bass, I think it's the Dog X. Is that what it is? So first up from Debo, uh, Debo's Fishing Lures, but from Debo, straight from his little workshop, is the Big Walking Hound. How cool is that? This is very similar uh, to the Mega Bass Dog X, topwater walking lure. Um, I'm loving everything about this. It's it's done on a clear blank. Um, he's got like sort of like this like bass green on top with this really cool pink uh, below, pink belly. Um, first of all, a great bait just in general, right? If you haven't used, I mean, really anything from Mega Bass, I don't think I've got anything really like bad from them that doesn't fish well, so that's really good. Uh, so anything in the same realm, I'm gonna be very excited about. Uh, this thing has awesome, super sticky hooks. My favorite thing about this is just the color scheme. Like right when I saw this, I was like, I, I, this is, I think this is the one when I saw it post on the, the Debo's Fishing Lures Instagram page. I was like, this is the one I have to have. This is so cool. And that's what actually what prompted me to, to make an order. Um, this is going to catch some bigs. And I, I, anytime they're going to eat on top, if they're going to eat a, a walking bait, this is the kind of bait that I want to catch one on. Uh, I find that these just get exploded on. And, uh, and I, I think this is going to bring in some bigs from the deep. There are five little ball bearings loose in like the end chamber. There's one ball bearing back here. You can sort of see it. And then there's a gigantor right here at the, at the tail as well. So loud but kind of high pitched not that like super thud which is great i also think that the having all the weight back in the tail is going to make this walk really well just like all the mega bass typically do uh and this is also gonna it's gonna cast very well uh pretty much on no matter what kind of kind of rod you have on it but dude look at the paint job are you joking there's no way i would ever be able to do this so uh kudos to you debo for throwing together an absolute specimen next up we have if I can get it unhooked from all these other trebles. The next up is the Spook style bait, similar to the, the Hedden Spook Jr. Now again, I don't know if it's Hedden or Heden, and I don't really care. They're like one of my favorite top water making uh, lure companies of all time. Like everything they make is like solid gold. Uh, but this is like the coolest version of one that I have ever seen. They have a really cool like bass color that I know a lot of their lures come in. Uh, a really cool frog color too. It's got like a similar green. Look at this just like bonkers design that Debo's put on here how cool is that it's like lightning strike slash fire slash gill pattern like what the heck 
Love the color. You really can't go wrong with this sort of like natural, like green, green pumpkin y uh, bass, you know, scale color at all. But the clear coat on this is outstanding. Look at the eyeball on that. Like, I'm afraid of that. How cool is that? Um, just amazing amount of detail in here. The fading is unbelievable. Uh, and it's got, it's got an awesome finish, so I think it's going to really hold up. And I'm kind of hoping that I can scratch it up a little bit uh, with some giant bass. But again, anything from uh, from Heaton, Hedden, whatever you want to call them, all-time great. So if we're in the same neighborhood as that type of blank, then I'm gonna, I'm just going to be thrilled with what I've got here. Uh, can, this is actually number two that I like purchased myself and was like, I absolutely have to have these. Then what came unbeknownst to me in this package? Now, we've had Debo's on a show a couple times. We've been on his show. Actually, by the time this airs on Monday, we would have been in on his show on Saturday. So two days ago, we were just on his show. Um, so Debo knows that, uh, you know, we're fishing in Michigan. He knows that like purple is like sort of our jam. Like purple for smallmouth in the river and chartreuse for, again, smallmouth in the river. Like I always gravitate towards that. So I end up with this unbelievably cool, it's on a clear blank, so it's kind of translucent, gold like crackle on top with a purple belly and then these like bright chartreuse-y like yellow eyes. You just like, this is what you like to call a home run top water. Also, dark like black almost top water has been something that like every time i see one somewhere like i'm grabbing it i i found that it's like there's some really awesome situations where when like the even when the sun is shining and they're not looking up like black can be something that just stands out to a fish um when, even when the water's really bright and then when the water's dark they're, it's still standing out so i've been really gravitating towards instead of like shiny metallic or like white i want bone or i want like dark like a black or a purple instead of you know like white chartreuse and like some a, a lot of colors that you end up seeing uh in top water baits i just feel like if you don't have something like this uh in your box like you may be at a disadvantage like this may be the thing that you don't have that you should have had that's gonna like light up that top water bite so i'm i'm pumped to fish this one and honestly because there's a crankbait in the assortment and like one of my favorite color combos that I've never thought of but now need more of, um, I'm gonna have to make a fishing trip like just for these four lures. Like I'm just gonna go down and if the top water is not hitting on these three, then I I've got something else and I'm legitimately gonna go out and fish this. This is like the coolest version of a Mountain Dew bottle that I've ever seen. Like the purple, the teal, and like the silvery white belly. It's almost like a zombie like yeah, it's like a it's like a zombie crappie. How cool is that? Like, I almost don't want to fish these because this is so just like neat. Um, amazing job. I, I legitimately have no idea how it's possible to do this, and I'm just amazed by people like Midwest Warriors and and the and Debo's fishing and the gajillion other people out there who are just making amazing looking lures like in their basements or in their own workshops or whatever. Like, kudos to you guys because I. Not only could I not have thought something like this up, there's no way I could have executed it. This is just amazing. Uh, so Devo, thank you so much. I cannot wait to fish these. If I ever do get to go fishing again, which will hopefully be soon, that is gonna be at the top of my list of things to fish. And uh, hopefully it's not a Debo dink that goes on there. Like I won't be mad if it's a Debo dink, but I kind of hope it's like a Debo PB that ends up on that. So that's what came in from Debo's fishing. I am so jacked up to fish those. Next up is the Z-Bayco bag. Came in a big giant bag, and I'll tell you why. It came in a big giant bag and they couldn't jam it into like one of these like smaller bags. Um, it's because there's something on their site that I didn't know exists. So if y'all haven't heard, Z-Bayco, there's their logo right there. Um, Z-Bayco, uh, they've been around for a while. They showed up in uh, last month's Monster Bass box and uh, I did a little like a really quick unbagging for like a YouTube short or an Instagram reel or something like that from Monster Bass on the Z-Bayco twig. And I don't like getting on camera and talking about baits that I haven't fished. It's just something that I don't like to do and I avoid it whenever I can. And I try and be upfront with people. Like I haven't fished this, but it looks good, right? I'll try and tell you that. Um, and so the bait that was in there, I actually bought a whole bunch more of. Uh, it was the Z-Bayco twig. Um, it was almost this exact one right here. Um, went out and fished it because I knew I was going to be fish doing a, a quick video on it. So I we went out and fished it uh, for like, I don't know, maybe an hour, two hours. Uh, I almost used up the whole bag. Like I was smacking every fish that it came in contact with. I did it wacky rig on a drop shot. Again, something that has kind of been new for me this year, but you know, also totally new. So kind of new style of rigging for me uh, and then a totally new bait. And I just had like wild success. So I instantly had more questions. Um, we actually met the guys from Z Bait Co uh, at ICAST 
wonderful human beings, very cool people, um, very open and honest for like how they do their manufacturing, like why their prices look like what they are, like like the way that they're able to make like all these custom runs. They make all these like really cool custom runs. Like this one right here is like a watermelon with red flake, which is like kind of standard. I get that. Um, but they did like a custom gold color for Monster Bass and like a handful of bags. like. Stuff that like really no other ma big time manufacturers can do, which I just thought was really interesting. So having fished the twig, really liked it. Having seen like some of their neat like color combos on their website. And then after talking to the guys at Z Bait Co, I told them like, hey, you guys, like the twig is really cool. I'm catching a ton of fish on it. They're like, yeah, 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 the, the twig is great. It's a really good bait. They go, have you tried the bamboo bomber? And I was like, no, I didn't even know that that was a thing. Tell me more. And they're like, you have not fished Z Bait Co until you fished the bamboo bomber. So. The reason why this thing is so big is because I went out and bought, did I get two or three? I think I got two colors. Let's see. Bought one, two, bought two colors of Bamboo Bomber. I bought the June Bug, which by the way, this packaging is like gorgeous. This is like the nicest packaging I've got for plastics in like an eternity. Um, they do have uh, Bass Syrup. You can see it right there, Bass Syrup Enhanced. Um, I don't know if it was the Bass Syrup or what it was that was catching me, but like the some combination of just like good looking lure awesome color and bass syrup is like definitely effective with the twig so this is the bamboo bomber um this june bug color is unbelievable it's purple and i'm not sure what's gonna, what's going to come through here on the screen i got the light on here to try and help but it's a it's a dark dark almost black purple uh with like green flake and it is juicy i am so excited about this shaky head Honestly, drop shot, uh, lighter Ned head. I mean, uh, EWG Ned head. I don't really know if there's a bad way to fish this. You could certainly use this as a jig trailer. Little long, but you could definitely trim it down. Um, just a very cool bait. And they've got the tail here as one piece, like sort of a beaver style look. But you could certainly uh, tear this apart just like so. And uh, bam, you've got like four little appendages down here. So like some trim ones that attach up here and then the two big dogs in the back with, that, with those ridges. A um, little bit of a ridged body, but like, yeah, it comes in a gigantic package. It's actually pretty finessey and I am purple. I think we talked about it with Debo stuff. Give me that purple, especially in the river. And they told me, the, the guys at Z were like, Z Bako, they're like, you have to have this if you fish in the river. Like this is a must have. Um, looking at it holding it now um uh, yeah i absolutely have to get this get this in the river so that was one color it was the june bug the other one that i got was another darker color Ugh. so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna get this tail opened up here so you can kind of get the full deal and when they mean black they mean black i mean this is a dark dark not translucent at all black i mean this thing is black but the blue really does stand out i'm not sure again how it's going to come up um, with the light on here, but that is that blue really stands out. I think this is just gonna be like, this is just a really cool shaped bait. I think it's really versatile. Um, I'm really kind of thinking Carolina rig, and I, I've been all about the Carolina this year, and I really think that this is gonna crush on a Carolina. There's a billion ways I think this is a super flexible bait. Super excited about that. Now, the other reason this bag was so big <clears throat> is because of the mud puppy. Now, this is one I had not heard about until I went on the website and was like searching around it is an absolute giant. I'm probably not even in this screen. Um, I don't know how much bass syrup is required to like load up a mud puppy, but this is a seven and a half inch, uh, I don't really know if you could call it a worm. I guess you could call it like a kind of a modified creature bait, but check that beast out. Seven and a half inches, big ribbed body here in the front, kind of a creature style shape but then the tail is like at odds with the body. It's sort of perpendicular with the body and you can see it's kind of got this big ridge tail. Um, just size wise, like that's all you really need to know. I mean, seven, seven and, what was it? Seven and a half or seven? I can't even remember. Seven and a half inches. I could not pass it up. Like this was a must have for me. How cool is that? And then the color too is I thought really, really interesting. So this is called Green Magic. Um, this is a dark blue with red and gold flakes inside of it. Uh, a little bit translucent, so not quite as like pitch dark as the black, um, but a, just a really cool color. I mean, you can basically see right through this thing. I, I, I'm trying to think of where I won't try and fish this. This is this is this is gonna get this is gonna get drug underneath the water for sure. And in case you really like want to know how I feel about the Z Bait Co Twig, um, here's how much I enjoyed fishing it. I bought four packs. Um, 
These are just unbelievable. So this was their uh, limited edition. This was the Gobi time. I think this is the one that came in the Monster Bass box, um, but it's very similar if it's not. Uh, this is a um, really cool color. It's like a, this is just unbelievable. It looks like, like the Vikings uh, football team, like would have designed this one. It's got a gold and purple flakes in it. Uh, and then it's sort of like a, a natural earthworm looking color uh, that's basically see-through. Just an unbelievable color. So the twig, um, it's a four inch, these come in seven per bag. It's a four inch like kind of finesse worm, but you can kind of see it really holds up on its own. Like it's not, it's supple, but it's not like so like pliable that it's just like bending over on itself. This right here uh, on a drop shot, come on, are you joking me? I mean, it's just, tantalizing. I love the way this looks and I what, what I like most about it is the fact that it fished like crazy. I mean it just caught fish. Like I burned through this bag um, pretty quickly just and they actually they say right in here drop shot Nico uh, or wacky rig and then a shaky head. It'd be a tiny little shaky head but I believe it. Um, but the drop shot man what a great way to fish this bait just unbelievable. Um, so that was their uh, limited edition Gobi time color. Uh, the next one was like brown pumpkin. So like black fleck with that same sort of like natural color. Very cool, love it. Gonna be an absolute fish catcher. The next one's watermelon. Um, watermelon and red flake. This one is in like a green, right? So like a green pumpkin instead of that like sort of natural earthworm color. Uh, Man, and that red flake, it does really just stand out, which I know is a crusher in the river as well. Uh, but I mean, like obviously lakes, but it's just, it's gonna dominate. This is their baby gill color. This is actually the one that I was most excited to see in person because it it's so, there's there's three different colors. It's like sort of like the back, the black paint splatter that's in there, but then there's like a green and like bluish teal color inside of that sort of green pumpkin base. Honestly, it's so, the three dimensional aspect is just unbelievably cool. On a four inch worm, like you're jamming a whole bunch of awesome into like a really tiny package. Also, I'm just seeing right now, Z Bait Co is actually like stamped onto the worm. Like what? Like uh, I'm, there's no way I'm gonna get this to pick up on camera, I doubt. But right here, it just like actually says in the plastic Z Bait Co. Get out of here. That is cool. And that's not all. You know, we got some other goodies too. Um, if I find a bait that I really like, I try and support those folks. So we went ahead and we got some other stuff too. I think they hooked this up. I don't think I bought this, but we got a little gator, a Z-Bait Co. Gator. I'll probably be rocking that for sure. Um, but you know, we had to go get some stickers. So we got some stuff for the cave here. That'll end up on the workbench without a doubt. And then we got one for the boat even. That's how much I like fishing these. And that's how much I like the guys that were that we met from Z Bait Co. Uh, really cool people doing really cool things, making baits that just catch fish. Um, my only caveat to Z Bait Co, like if there was one at all, the one thing I will say is these are not gonna hold up to like 600 fish. Like you'll get it, you'll, you can do like maybe two to five fish on each one. And it obviously depends on how you rig it. Like if you rig them wacky, they're gonna get shredded. And that's how most of my fishing has been done with this. So like maybe with a shaky head, or something like that, you know, maybe it'll do a little better at Carolina. Um, but I am here to tell you that uh, while they will catch fish, like this one bag, I would get two because um, they're supple and they are gonna rip a little bit, but no more, no less than any other. Like I'm kind of comparing it to like, you know, a Z-Man where, you know, you get one and you pay like twice as much for a normal, you know, bag of baits, but they last a really long time because that Elastec is, you know, a really unique bait. I would rate it like on a scale of one to 10, if 10 is Z-Man and, and one is like falling apart before the hook, these are probably like a seven. Uh, so, you know, sort of like standard durability, but definitely not up at that Elastec level, but the great people, great baits, um, huge fan. So yeah, I am jacked up to fish those from Z-Bait Co. Bamboo Bomber is like, again, if Debo's fishing is number one, number two on my list is absolutely getting that Bamboo Bomber dunked in the river. I'm pumped for that. Last, and again, certainly not least, the Monster Bass August Unbagging. Um, there is a lot here. Like, I don't know if you can just tell from like just this right here, there's a lot in this bag. I'm actually, I'm super excited. Jeff just dropped, I think two, well, by the time you see this Monday, one, two, three, four, like three or four days ago, uh, did a full like rigging uh, video on this bag. So I'm gonna kind of fly through this just to kind of show you what's in there. Um, 
but it's a phenomenal bag. So if you want more detail, go to the Monster Bass channel, check that out. It's a great video with a lot of in-depth resource for it. I'm gonna, he did like the <clears throat> super zoomed in detail view. I'm gonna do like the 10,000 foot, like burn through all the goodies that are in this bag. First up is the pro model uh, crankbait from Strike King in Sexy Sunfish. <clears throat> it's a four to eight foot diver just like just this is like a this is like a like you absolutely have to have a couple of these in your bag um really durable crankbait gets down where you need it to well, i don't know why i'm showing it to you in this box that's kind of useless so let's go ahead and crack this puppy open if you haven't fished striking you're probably living under the same rock that would keep you from knowing about debo's fishing uh these are just great lures and if you know about the pros that are on their staff they've got some guys that can absolutely hammer them with a crankbait uh and this is their pro series. So these are designed by their pros in conjunction with their staff and they just make some awesome baits. So this is sort of a stock standard. Uh, and, and again, sexy sunfish, like there's not a place where this isn't, this color isn't gonna do you uh, just fine. So four to eight foot diver, um, awesome bait. Next up is the Rocket Shad from Bait Labs. This is another one that I have, well, this is one that I have not fished. I have fished the uh, that pro model. I actually think I have one or two of that exact same one. Um, all right, this is the Rocket Shad. Skinny, um, very quiet, actually. Very quiet, like totally silent. Uh, but there are one, two, three, four, five ball bearings. Five, six, seven, is that eight? What? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It looks like seven or eight ball bearings in there and they're all in the belly of this bad boy. Um, holy cow. Interesting body shape. You can see how it kind of trims down uh, from the from the lip there with a pretty small lip, almost like a jerkbait style. This is very interesting. Um, I would probably consider upgrading the hooks. These are painted hooks. Uh, so there, that's probably one area where I would probably, I'm gonna go ahead and swap these ones out. I might even go bigger than what's in here. Really cool paint job, like a clear, like almost like a translucent perch. So There's probably too much light coming in, but kind of taking a step back, this like, Really neat paint job. You can basically see through. It's like half pike, half perch paint job. Very cool. Um, uh, full transparency, I need to fish this one. This one needs to get in the water stat. I've had this for like a week, maybe longer, maybe two weeks. Haven't even had a chance to fish <clears throat> this box yet, but very, very cool. Uh, so that is the, man, Rocket Shad. What's that color called? Natural Perch, nailed it. This is a, how heavy is it? Three quarter ounce, interesting. I'm gonna, I need to just see how this one's gonna work in the water. So that's one that I need to test out. Here's one that I have fished in the past um, that I'm so excited ended up in the box. And I really hope we start seeing more of ARC in these boxes. This is the ARC uh, TB115. Jeff did a really great big breakdown of this bait. Uh, this is a top water kind of like pencil bait. Yeah. So this is a four and a half inch. Uh, I think, was it five eights? Don't make me a liar five eighths ounce floating walk the dog bait. Um, I don't think you've ever seen anything like this before. Honestly, there's just no way because I don't think there's anything like this out there. I think this is such, a, just a really, really cool looking bait. Amazing paint job, translucent, made for long casting. And by long casting, I mean like as long as possible. Look at the eye. I think that's the same shape as the logo. This, oh, what? So there's the ARC logo. There's your eye. How cool is that? The art, oh, that is freaking cool. I love that. Uh, bright orange cupped mouth. So while you're getting this awesome walk the dog action, which it does have great walk the dog action, it also is like splashing some water. So you're kind of getting like the best of both worlds. Just a beautiful bait, really unique uh, body shape to me. I think that's really cool. I don't think there's a lot out there like this. Um, comes with awesome hooks. This is a, an out of the package, ready to fish bait. And once you get your hands on it, the fit and finish on, on these arc baits is like, it's, it's top quality. These are really nice baits. If you haven't heard of ARC, um, this is your entree into them. This is why you get the Monster Bass box. So you can learn about brands <clears throat> that are bringing you awesome baits uh, that you've never heard of before, never had a chance to fish. Uh, the TB, uh, this is the 115, is a phenomenal bait. And one, again, I really high rec re highly recommend that you, if you haven't, check out ARC um, and better yet, get it in the Monster Bass box. And like I said, I hope we start get, seeing some more from Ark because their popper is like one of my favorite poppers right now. I'm a popper nerd, it's the way I like to fish, and their popper is 
just fantastic. And the, the other thing about ARC is like the number of colors is a little bit crazy. Like everyone has like a big bank of colors that they put out there. ARC's bank of colors is just bonkers. I don't even know what this color is called. So this is their top water blower. I know that, but like what color? Oh, uh, Gill. Wow. <laughs> Maybe need to get more creative with their color combo names. But no, seriously, these are sweet bait. Just so cool. So glad to have them as, as, uh, as part of the bag. Um, next up, we got a spinner bait from Steel Shad. Um, you've seen Steel Shad before, uh, the blade bait, which is a, a gorgeous blade bait, which I don't know if that's like their claim to fame or not, but that's where I've always known about Steel Shad before. So this is a half ounce. I'm going to crush this package. This is a half ounce, uh, white and chartreuse, which again, you can't go wrong with spinner bait. Um, awesome summertime bait always has been, always will be, uh, some things I love about this bait, painted blades. Um, painted blades are a nice alternative. The back of them is silver, the front of them is white. Um, when it comes to spinner baits, I like to sort of like work my way down like the list of priorities. So I'm like light versus dark, let's figure that out first. Okay, maybe I'm getting some more followers and more action on the light versus dark, or maybe I have a good feeling about light versus dark. So I'll start there. And then I'm trying to figure out like what kind of blades do I want? Do I want like a heavy, heavy thump? Do I want somewhere in between? Or do I want like the ultralight willow half ounce style, almost finesse spinner bait, you know, uh, kind of sound vibration from those blades. Uh, so this is going to fit right in with there. It's got sort of the, the jewelry that's going to keep these two things apart. You see a little spacer right there, uh, hook holder, a uh, solid hook holder, not going to shred your baits, but going to hold them safely in place. And last but not least, hand tied skirt that is, you know you're getting a solid bait when the skirt's hand tied. So the way you can tell <clears throat> hand tied versus not, this is not a rubber band in there. There's a thread inside of there and that's what humans are doing. So I love to see that on spinner baits. I like to see that on all my jigs. Uh, so boom, there is your uh, steel shad half ounce white and chartreuse spinner bait. And then we've got the X zone. I mean, you've seen the adrenaline craw before. Uh, this is the adrenaline bug junior in black and blue, which if you're not carrying black and blue, uh, you're definitely at a disadvantage. So there's the Adrenaline Bug Junior, kind of a flipping bait, but this would go on maybe like a more finesse presentation, more finesse style Texas rig. Let's make sure you get a good look at that. Some of those appendages there on the side. Um, you get like nice big kind of like thumpy um, trailer there in the back. Like what a, just a really unique looking um, <clears throat> flipping bait right there. And then I think I actually have, I do. So I don't have the adrenaline bug in like the upsides, but I have the adrenaline craw in the four and a quarter size. They are pretty similar. You can tell the appendages are a little bit different, but you get an idea. This is the junior. This is the regular size. Duh. Um, but what, what a really cool, like finesse summertime presentation. And then black and blue, any kind of dark stained water, uh, really early morning, later in the day. Uh, you can't beat black and blue. It's just, it's a must have. Another banger from X zone. And next up, we've got a little terminal. You're going to see inside of your box, uh, the tungsten flipping weight. I think it's a three eighth. Yep. Three eighths ounce tungsten flipping weight. We've seen videos before on the monster bass channel. Jeff and I fish with these <clears throat> all of the time. Great tungsten weight, no flash, but you're not getting the price either. So monster bass does sell these on their website. Um, and in addition to that, <clears throat> they started carrying. So here's, uh, I got a bag of these like a week ago, our drop shot weights. So they've got the skinny style, like, so this one right here, that this is what I prefer. This is one of my favorites. It drags through cover really well. Got a nice range of weights on the site. They also have the teardrop style too, if you're more into that and you're fishing like rocky areas <clears throat> or maybe sandy areas uh, with softer bottom. Um, you've got some options there too. So go check those out. You're also gonna get the uh, Mustad. I think there's a three, yeah, three odd, four piece um, hook. Oddly enough, these are gonna fit great in your plastics and are gonna be awesome for pairing with Maybe a flipping weight? I don't know. Is this something that you use all the time? Yes, it is. So this is sort of like your restock. Um, I love to see these in there. They don't get a lot of love, but like you need to have hooks. Like it's hard to go fishing without hooks. So gotta have them. I was thinking my light died. My light is dead. So hopefully uh, this doesn't look totally different or weird, but my light died. At least the camera's not dead. In addition to the terminal tackle, I almost missed this one. Uh, you get stoppers. If you like flipping, um, I don't know if this is something that you guys use or not. I think like I use them constantly and I actually just re-upped, which I'm kind of mad about now. Uh, you get these stoppers. So this is for keeping, <clears throat> for pegging your weight. So these are pegs. Um, you put these on your line. You basically thread them through the little uh, wire, pull the stopper onto your line, tie up your bait, slide the stopper uh, right in front of your flipping weight and it actually pegs your weight so that your weight stays right in front of your hook. Um, 
not not required by any means but very useful in a lot of flipping situations so highly recommend that you grab one of these um and they're also going to come in your august bag uh, but if they don't these are on sale on the website as well if you don't if you don't get them or you don't get enough or you want more they're on sale as well. So when you're going to pick up your drop shots, go grab some pegs as well. Okay, and last up, the 13 Fishing Blunt Force Finesse. This is a, uh, the, I think the color is called Pimpin, is it Pimpin, Pur it's Pimpin Purple, uh, six and a half inch quarter ounce worm. Um, one of the few just like really good looking clamshell packages. Um, but let me grab one of these bad boys out for you. This is a like green pumpkin, purple flake, uh, just a, God, like 13 fishing just makes some really, really pretty baits. The interesting thing about this bait is you can see the colors only on like the top half. Again, blunt force finesse. You don't, this is this bait's gonna have a larger profile than the color would indicate. So clear on the bottom uh, with that green pumpkin on top, black fleck going all the way through, but also purple injected in there as well. Um, dude, like a six and a half, was it six and a half? Six and a half inch finesse worm. If you can't find a place for this, I don't know, maybe you only fish in the south. I could tell you uh, in the Midwest, anywhere, anyone that likes to fish finesse, I have a place for this in my tackle box. I think this is gonna crush on smallmouth <clears throat> and I'm probably gonna start with a shaky head. I just, this screams shaky head to me. Uh, ribbed all the way through. I mean, you got your little worm here to kind of indicate uh, a lot of different like presentations for like rigging and stuff, but ribbed body gonna provide a ton of action um, and just a just a really cool color combo, one that I've never seen before. So I am pumped to fish that. So that wraps up your Monster Bass bag. Oh yeah, well, no, it doesn't. Also with the Monster Bass bag, you're not getting the box anymore, you're still getting the bag. Uh, so all those baits are gonna come in a bag for you to just grab and go. If you're fishing from the bank of the boat, it really doesn't matter. These are super useful. So that wraps up Monster Bass. That also wraps up this video. Uh, if you have questions about any of these baits, please put them in the comments below. We'd be happy to answer them. If you're going out to make a purchase, whether it's the tungsten weights or you're going to set up a subscription with Monster Bass, please use, please use the affiliate link in either Jeff or my uh, profiles. Uh, we'll put those in the link below, uh, but they're also on our Instagrams as well. So please use uh, one of those to let, know, let Monster Bass know that Burley Fishing sent you. It does help us out a ton, so please uh, be sure to do that. But yeah, that wraps up our our unboxing, our unbagging for the day, our trio of unbaggings. You have the Debo's Fishing Lures, um, all the really cool topwaters. You got the Z Bait Co. Uh, unbagging as well. Please go check them out. Awesome partner, uh, making some really cool baits. And then you had the Monster Bass August Bag. That is all of your unboxings for today. Thank you so much for sticking with me uh, through this journey. Uh, thank you for liking, subscribing, smashing the like button, and the ringing the notification bell so you can see me post more videos. And then come hanging out with us every single Thursday, uh, 8 p.m. Eastern on our live show on either YouTube or Discord. Uh, it is a ton of fun. Please do come and join us. And if you can't make that time, it is a live podcast. So podcast being the other half of that term, you can go download it anytime, anywhere you download your podcast. Just search for Burly Fishing. Thank you so much and have an awesome day. We'll catch you out on the water.